Before we get into this video, just like give a special thanks to Chaos X Silencer. He provided me with the gameplay, and the link to his channel is down below in the description for even more gameplay and a bunch of Call of Duty videos. Hey guys, so Jane from Legion Gaming. This video, I want to talk about a weapons list for Call of Duty World War II. There's been a lot of gameplay going around, uh, both from the trailers, the multiplayer, and more. And I kind of want to round up all the weapons that we've seen in the game and talk about some other weapons we can expect in the game. So I'm just going to pretty much go over the list. Um, I'll copy this into the description also, and if I forget to do that, just leave a comment down below, and I'll just put that in there so you guys can look those up. But uh, first we have the M1928 Thompson submachine gun. Uh, this one's pretty iconic, it's also known as the M1A1 Thompson at times, and it's pretty much just the Tommy gun. Uh, it's very iconic in World War II, uh, both with the uh, 30 round magazine as well as the 50 round drum magazine, which is what you often see in like gangster movies and stuff. Uh, next is the M1903 sniper rifle. This is the standard issue rifle to the US Army and the most common sniper rifle uh, in World War II. Next on the list we have the 1911 pistol or the M1911. Uh, this is the most used pistol ever and it's going to be very common in this game and probably the standard pistol for most of the classes. And it's also the only pistol that people were able to use or the only pistol that I saw gameplay of um, in the trailer and just in the gameplay that's been released. Now next we have the Bar Assault Rifle. Uh, this is also in Battlefield 1 for example and it's an LMG in this game just because of how hard it hits. Um, but it could also be classified as an assault rifle. Um, and it's a very heavy hitting weapon with 20 rounds in the magazine. Uh, next is the MP40 submachine gun, one of the most common SMGs as well. Uh, very heavily used and uh, it's one of the most used weapons I've seen in the gameplay as well. People tended to use this weapon a lot and you could attach and detach a suppressor on this weapon. Uh, next is the Lewis LMG. The only person who I saw use this was KSX Silencer in gameplay, but it had a 47 round magazine just like the one in Battlefield 1, and it's a drum magazine on top of the weapon. And next we have the M1 Garand, one of the most common semi-auto weapons in the war, and this weapon is probably categorized under the same sort of uh, assault rifle category as the Bar Assault Rifle. Now next to the only shotgun that we saw, the 1897 shotgun. Uh, nothing too special about this other than the fact that it can use like incendiary rounds which didn't seem to be too useful but they are there as an option if you want it. Now the M3 SMG is another one. This is the one that we saw in the trailer being heavily used um, when they were running through sort of that snow map. Uh, now next is the MG15 LMG and uh, this that pretty much rounds it up for all the weapons that we saw and all the weapons that you can equip in your class. Um, next there's just two more weapons like the MG42 was the mounted gun that we saw in most places uh, sort of the gun that you could the turret that you could uh, get into and then next is the flamethrower which is a kill streak and here are some weapons that are okay so I'm going to talk about a few that are basically confirmed to be in the game and I'll 100% say that they're going to be in the game is the STG44 it might also be named the MP44 but the SCG-44, um, technically the first real assault rifle, so that should definitely be in the game. Uh, and then the Sten SMG. Um, now two other, and then also there might be a semi-automatic lever action gun, uh, similar to the one we saw in Advanced Warfare. Another reason why I'm saying I'm pretty sure the SCG and the Sten will be in this game was because both of those were DLC in Advanced Warfare. So you can assume that they already have the files for those weapons, so it's a pretty easy port over to the next game. Now lastly, I'm going to assume the Gewehr 98 is going to be in there because that's one of the most common German rifles used in the war. And it'd be pretty silly not to include that weapon in this game. Now right now we have a list of about one, two, three, six, about 12 weapons that we could use in the game, plus the other ones. Um, that's pretty common for a alpha slash beta. Um, I assume in the beta that they'll include more weapons such as uh, more assault rifles, uh, probably one more sniper. Uh, but they generally like to get the SMGs and the assault rifles out there pretty early. Uh, and then the shotguns and the snipers and the LMGs, they tend to reveal a bit later. Um, for example, in the Black Ops 3 beta, we only had access to the Locust pretty much. Um, and then other snipers came along, only had access to like the KRM, only had access to two LMGs. Whereas as far as the assault rifles and SMGs go, we had access to pretty much all of them. So I'm hoping that we're going to get a lot more weapons than this, but this is a pretty good weapon set, and uh, all of them seem to fill a pretty unique role right now in the game. If you guys did like the video, don't forget to drop a like down below and subscribe for everything Call of Duty World War II. 
and don't forget to check out my future videos and my video uh, talking about my impressions about the game. But that's what it feels today, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.